Hi guys and welcome to the Mondragon Sniper. The Mondragon Rifle refers to a few rifles designed by Mexican artillery officer General Manuel Mondragon. However, it was not made on the other side of that little wall that somebody wants to build. It was manufactured in Switzerland by a company called SIG or SIG and it was even used by the Germans during World War 1. Let's go over to the stats because that's what it's all about. One single bullet will cause 40 maximum damage. After 26.5 meters this damage will drop and it will settle at 35 damage at 51.5 meters. Wait a minute, didn't we hear this before? The damage model is an exact copy of the Selbstlader. I will compare those two guns later in this video so that you can decide for yourself which gun is better for your playstyle. The Mondragon can fire 257 rounds per minute and it will need 3 bullets to kill your next favorite victim. Time to kill is 0.469 seconds and at 20 meters this time to kill will become 0.492 seconds. The Mondragon has a muzzle velocity of 800 meters per second which is pretty good. When you first deploy on the battlefield you will start off with 10 bullets in your magazine and you will get another 70 for later. It's a medic class gun, but it's basically a sniper rifle. And that's why we don't have an empty reload time or a reload time with bullets left. Instead, we have a single bullet reload time of 0.567 seconds and a strip clip reload time of 1.133 seconds. Just make it easy for yourself and remember 0.6 seconds for one bullet and 1.1 seconds for five at the same time, because that is the strip clip size. It is still a medic class gun, so it has the benefit of having a deployed time of 0.7 seconds. And like every other gun in Battlefield 1, it has a standard bullet drop of 12 meters per second squared. Let's unlock and modify our weapon first. You can choose between a beam, cross, chevron or post reticle and the 4 times magnification is the biggest one you can select. And then there is the bayonet, but I'm sure that you already know what to do with that thing. Let's compare the Mondragon with the Selps Ladder. They both have the same damage model, but what else do they have in common? The first thing that you will notice when you are fighting and killing on the battlefield is that the self slaughter has a slower rate of fire. It can only fire 224 rounds per minute compared to 257 and that is 15% slower. They both need 3 bullets to kill but the Mondragon is able to kill faster due to the difference in fire rate. It will only need 0.492 seconds compared to 0.561 seconds at our 20 meters reference point. The muzzle velocity is exactly the same for both of them. The self slaughter has a proper reload time. It will take you 3.4 seconds for an empty reload and only 2.3 seconds for a reload with bullets left. The deploy time is 0.7 seconds which is standard for all medic class weapons. The self slaughter has a bigger magazine size of 26 bullets compared to only 10 for the Mondragon, which means that it will be easier to kill a lot of people in a short period of time, but it will take you longer to kill one single guy. This basically sums up the biggest difference between these two very similar guns. I mentioned that this gun is basically a sniper rifle, but don't take that too literally. For sniper rifles it pays off to hold your breath so that you can study your scope. This will make it easier for you to get another headshot. This won't work for the Mondragon. You cannot hold your breath when you use this gun. So don't bother pressing that button to study your scope. It does come with a bipod and this has the usual benefits. It will eliminate the scope sway and it will reduce the recoil dramatically. This will make it easier for you to aim directly at your enemy's eyeball for that ultra clean headshot. I had a lot of fun using the Mondragon Sniper and what I'm about to say now is my personal opinion. When I was recording the footage so that I could make this video for you, I first started playing with the Mondragon and when I had enough footage I started playing with the self slaughter. The first big thing that I noticed was how much longer it took for the self slaughter to kill. The difference is only 0.069 seconds at 20 meters and you might think that this is nothing, but it's big enough for you to notice. I first thought that I was biased somehow. I just played a lot with these two weapons so to rule that out I made one of the hardest decisions in my life and this may come as a very big shock but I decided not to play Battlefield 1 for two days. I mean I was as surprised as you that anyone is able to knowingly not play Battlefield 1 for two days. And just to be sure I already booked an appointment in a detox clinic and I signed up for the next AA meeting for gamers but strangely enough I survived. So I played Battlefield 1 again and I noticed exactly the same difference. So I will always prefer the Mondragon over the self slaughter. On top of that the Mondragon just feels right. But that's just me. You will have to make that decision for yourself. 
I just hope that I was able to give you all the information that you need so that it will be easier for you to make that life-changing decision. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you on the battlefield.